I'm Shannon from City Sprouts, and today I'm here to talk with you about being a detective in the garden and looking for creatures. Let's think about it. What creatures can we find in the city? Birds, lots of different birds, insects, butterflies, beetles, worms, bees, moths, Oh, spiders is another one. Different mammals you can find in the city. Squirrels, woodchucks or groundhogs. Foxes sometimes, if you're very lucky. Hmm, feral cats. Rabbits, raccoons, possums, skunks. I saw a skunk in the city just a couple weeks ago. Hmm, sometimes you can find deer in the city. A certain reptile called a prairie skink. Those are really, really neat. Wild turkeys. Let's see if I can make a wild turkey sound. <laughs> that was okay, see if you can make a wild turkey sound. That's all the creatures I can think of right now. So, when you're getting ready to go investigating for all these different creatures, the most important tool you need is your senses. So really good ones are your ears, your listening. Sometimes you can just sit in one spot and close your eyes and listen and you'll start to hear. Right now I can hear birds. I can hear, I think it's a cricket maybe. So you just have to sit and listen for a little while. The next thing you really need are your eyes for looking and you have to remember to look up and look down and look underneath things. And you can look during the day, but also you can look after it gets dark if your adult will let you and will come with you. Especially right when the sun is going down, there are lots of creatures that come out around that time. So another tool you might want is a flashlight. Another really cool tool that you don't have to have, but if you have one around, is a magnifying glass. And that helps you look really, really up close at little creatures. It's good to dress in comfy clothes and to wear shoes to keep your feet safe. If you're exploring out um, in a new place, you're definitely gonna need uh, an adult with you, a grown up, and friends, that helps too. So things we're going to be looking for when we are trying to find our creatures are not always just the creatures, but the evidence that they've been there. So those might be things like shells, skin, eggs, empty eggs. It might be little bite marks on leaves or something else that a creature has eaten or taken a bite out of. We have a groundhog in our garden at City Sprouts who likes to take big bites out of things like zucchini and melons. So I always know that he's been there. Also nests holes in the ground. Groundhogs make great big holes. You have to be careful not to step in them. Webs. There's lots of spiders coming out this time of year. Those are all evidence of the creatures that we are looking for. At my house I have a special treasure shelf where we put fun things that we found on the shelf so we can look at them again later and I brought a few of those things from that shelf. You can have one of these at home too. It doesn't have to be a shelf. It can be a box or a little spa space on top of your dresser or a special little bag, anything you want, someplace you can keep these things safe. So this is a gardener snake skin that I found with my kids and you can see, you can still see where his eyes were and his mouth opens up all the way down to, I think we got almost the tip of his tail. So that felt really special, finding a whole snake skin. And you can often find these, they'll get caught in bushes or be kind of underneath plants. Um, it's really exciting when you find one. Another one I have is this red, beautiful red feather. It's from a cardinal. <clears throat> and I love collecting different kinds of feathers. So whenever you touch feathers or skins or any of these things that you always wash your hands. This last little one is an awesome one that we're going to go try to find out um, in the garden here. It's a cicada shell and they are everywhere right now. They are especially easy to find because they stick themselves to trees. If you're really lucky, you can find one where the cicada is still coming out of its shell. <gasps> 
Look at this. This leaf has been eaten up by something. I'm gonna guess it was a Japanese beetle. It looks kind of pretty. Not great for the tree, but I think it's beautiful. Oh yeah, I wanna see, maybe wouldn't it be so cool if this one was like coming out of its, oh. It must have left. It was like, but look over here, there's like, and then up all the way. One, two, three, four, five. I count at least 12. Oh, 13. And if you find a place that has lots of cicada shells, it's a great place to sit and wait and see if a new cicada comes. Thanks so much for listening. Get out there and explore. Come explore the grounds here at Joslin Castle. If you can't get up here, go to your backyard or a park or anywhere down your street. Get out there and have fun. <laughs>